Hello guys, it's Rackham and welcome back to another video, man. So today we're going to be talking about Arsenal versus Rennes. Uh, Rennes, right? It's Rennes? Rennes? Yeah, Rennes in the um, Europa League um, round of what? 32, right? It's still round of, what, round of 16? Is it round of 16? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I believe round of 16, man, in the Europe uh, in the Europa League. Uh, game ended in a 3-0 um, win for Arsenal, man. So Arsenal win in a 4 Two at on a four uh three aggregate man uh close close fixture man Arsenal were able to win this three zero um they definitely had to win this game at least two zero more and they were able to win this three zero man so good win for them man uh Wakanda forever man so shout out to my boy Abami Yang Yang blood clot Yang Abami blood clot Yang man scoring um two goals probably could have scored more than two goals came out with the uh Black Panther mask man it was just ridiculous man he yo he had a great game. Um, he had two goals and one assist, man, and uh, pretty much he was the key guy for Arsenal. So shout out to him, man. After match, um, Lacazette started, but Lacazette didn't didn't do too much, man. I think he, um, uh, I, I was I was looking for more from him. He probably could have got sent off when he did like a rash stack. I mean, a, a bad challenge, in my personal opinion, it could have been a red. I wouldn't be surprised if the referee I gave it a red, but uh, he got a yellow card. Um, luckily, um, he, he was suspended for this game, but um, Arsenal like um, challenged the. Um, the ruling, and uh, eventually they, they brought it back down and only suspended for like uh, two games instead of three games because you would have missed like this game too, man. So I was happy when he was back in the squad. So um, that was kind of good. Uh, but yeah, Arsenal went with the same formation, the 3 4 1 uh, 2 up top, man. I, I like that formation so far. Arsenal has been winning games, they beat United. And uh, with this formation, they haven't really conceded any goal, man. They, they scored multiple goals, and they haven't conceded any goal. So it's really work for them, man. Um, Arsenal was very pacey, uh, very fast, um, good uh, pass going forward, and just great uh, f uh, great football, man, beautiful football. That's what Arsenal do. Rennes, Rennes man, they, they, I think they play all right. For the most part, they play all right. Uh, Could have scored um, at least a goal or two. Hit the hit the post like twice. I believe once or twice. I'm not sure, man. I believe, I know they hit the post, man. I'm not sure how many times. I believe once or twice they hit the post. Uh, kind of unlucky not to score in those uh, situations, man. But I think they, they they really challenged Arsenal at time. But Arsenal was very defensively. Arsenal players were pretty much throwing their bodies towards the ball. Uh, dive going down low to block the passes and uh, making some smart challenges, man. Intercepting the ball. I think Arsenal was very good defensively. I do like this formation, as I said, man. Like uh, a better defensive Arsenal is a better team, man. So uh, defensive, man. As I said, Arsenal was very sound with Monreal, uh Koscielny, and uh, Mustafi in the back. But Mustafi was making so many mistakes. Yeah, he pretty much uh, one of his mistakes led to um, one of Reyes plays in the post, man. I was like. Mustafi, no, like I know a lot of people don't like Mustafi. I think I think something deep down in my heart I'm saying that Mustafi is gonna be a good play eventually. But like I've been saying that for the past two, three years, man, and it's not really working out, man. But like out of all the defensive play, man, I think he was the best out of all the defensive play, man. He had a phenomenal game, very good shutting down um, Bogard and uh, uh, shutting down uh, Reynolds, uh left wing and. Um, their, their left back, man. I, th I think he had a fantastic game. Koscielny they looked very good. He did have an assist. I believe the the third goal was assisted by him to Aubameyang. And uh, Shaka. Shaka looking good right now. I'm not going to lie. Shaka looking better than Torreira right now. He's playing some good uh, football right now. So, shout out to my boy Shaka. Uh, but Koscielny, I mean, uh, Kolesinat, man. Probably the second best player. Uh, one of the best players out, out there to pitch for Arsenal, man. So, very good. I think he's better going um, attacking-wise than uh, defense. That's pretty much most of Arsenal. Like, um, fullbacks, they, they're pretty much better at attack than uh, defense, which is not really good. But, like, in the situation, it was in midfield, so that was kind of good. So, he did pick up a yellow card, but I think he had a fantastic game. Um, Maitland Niles, man. Maitland Niles, man. Maitland Niles has been stepping up very good, man. I think he's um, on the right side. He was phenomenal. And uh, I think he should go for that. Um, I know he didn't play in the right back position today. He played up more t up in the midfield, but I think he, he's suited on right, man. He's suited on right. I know he's a midfielder, but he's suited on the right, man. As a, a right mid or um, a right back, I think that's his position right now because he did very good versus uh, United last week, man. So um, looking forward to see what he do in the future, man. But picking up the, the second goal, man, very important second goal for him. Uh, very good goal in the 15th minute, man. So shout out to him. Uh, Metzl Hudson, man, expect more from him. Didn't really do too much, in my opinion. He did was he was out there performing some crazy tricks, not making people, uh, not t pretty much turning his back while not making people. It was just crazy, man. Great skills by uh, Metzl Hudson, man. Talented guy, man. Very, very quality. 
play in my personal opinion. Aubameyang, man. Two goals by him, man. Probably should have scored, uh, scored more. Fantastic overall. Uh, Rina's defensive there was very poor. Later on in the game, I think Rina's kind of got back in the game like later on uh, when it was down 2-0. They was attacking. They was creating chances. Arsenal was just defending. And they looked very good, man. Passed the ball very well from time to time. But uh, Arsenal was just very good in their midfield and defense. And they were just not letting nothing pass them. And so I love this defensive Arsenal. And uh, versus another team, uh, Renus was doing, uh, Renus probably would have scored more goals. Niang up top, man, he, he was very poor, but I was kind of impressed with him, man. I'm not, it's kind of awkward to say that, but he was very poor, but I kind of uh, impressed with him because uh, he was the only one from time to time getting by, um, getting by Arsenal back line. And he always trying to pass the ball, cross the ball in front of goal, and nobody, nobody's there. Nobody's there. Arsenal players just block it and uh, block his shots and intercept the ball, man. But he was trying, though. He was definitely trying. Ben Arfa, he had an average game. Probably was one of the best players out there for them, but um, did not do too much, man. And that's what happened when you Harrogate, man. Two Harrogate. They won the first game 3-1. Arsenal was down um, by a man with 10 men, and they won the game, and he was pretty much rubbing in because he don't like um, Unai Henry because Unai Henry used to coach uh, PSG, and, and he pretty much never got a chance with PSG. So I think he's trying to get his revenge, and his revenge was to pretty much knock Arsenal out of the – Europa League, and that didn't happen, man. He got Harry again, and it was not over. Arsenal only lost the first leg because of bad refereeing and uh, be them being down 10 men. But the away goal was vital, and Arsenal had home. Their home form is one of the best in Europe and best in Premier League, man. So um, I expect Arsenal to win this game, man. But I was kind of skeptical of them winning for more than by more than two goals, and they, and they actually did it, man. So shout out to Arsenal. We are through. To the next round, man. And, yeah, the next round looked like Champions League, man. So it's very good teams down there. You, you, I don't know who Arsenal could beat down there, man. There's one or two play teams that I know Arsenal could beat, but you never know, man. This is uh, football. Uh, Mkhitaryan has come back from an injury. Came on, did not really do anything major. He had a picked up a yellow card in the process. Um, a Wobi came on. I think he missed a perfect opportunity. Probably should have uh, should have done better on, on a shot later on in the game. Torreira came on. I was surprised that Torreira didn't play, um, especially not playing in the in the last game. I'm just, don't really not sure why he didn't play, but probably for the best guy. He came on there and do nothing, man. This guy, I think he's not on farm again, man. His his uh, performance kind of dipped over the past uh, few weeks, few months, man. And hopefully, um, he get a break and he go to uh, your guy and do a very good job with your guy and come back even better. Uh, but good win for Arsenal, man. Uh, the first goal came in the fifth minute with uh, Ramsey. Uh, Maitland Niles, man, killing it on the wing, man. Ran down the wing, passed Ramsey the ball. Ramsey kind of cut in and uh, 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 passed in front of goal. And uh, Bamiang just took, stick a foot out, man, and stuck, uh, I believe his left foot, uh, stick it out, and it was 1-0. Arsenal have a goal right in the, in the beginning of the game, man. And that's how Arsenal need to uh, start the game. They need to attack. And uh, start the game very good and score an early goal and that give them a lot of confidence, motivation to really push on. And that's what that's what they they, they needed it to needed to do and that's what exactly what they did. Uh, second goal was on uh, Maitland Miles, man. Uh, pretty much uh, Aubameyang on the wing. I'm not sure who he passed it to. I'm gonna say he passed it to Ramsey and Ramsey passed it back to him. And the ball was pretty much going out. Of, I think it was kind of offside. I believe Lacazette was right there. Lacazette allowed it because Lacazette was clearly offside. But I think. I think um, Aubameyang was kind of offside, man. But it was a tight offside, so the referee allowed it. And the ball went on the line, but almost about to go out of play, but he were able to cross it over. And everybody was pretty much ball watching, including the Re uh, Rennes goalkeeper. And uh, Maitland Niles picked up on the play, just ran, and was headed towards the goal, man. Great goal by Maitland Niles. His first goal in, in the Europa League in, in Europe. And his second goal in general for Arsenal, man. So this guy going to be a great guy, a great player in the future. Uh, Aubameyang scored the third goal in the 72nd minute, man. Which we pretty much killed the game and uh, sealed Arsenal victory. And with um, with uh, Aubameyang, man, um, who passing the ball? Oh, yeah, Carlos Knight passing the ball. And he just was a, pretty much an easy tap in. He was tapping in, grab his, um, his mask, celebrated, got a yellow card, man. But hopefully that yellow card doesn't hurt him. Um, haunt him in the future, but looking good for Arsenal so far, man. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, leave a comment, share this video. Shout out to Arsenal, man. Help the Gunners. And with that, you boys out of here. Peace.